Welcome to the Corner Cafe. About the things I worship you And welcome to Corner Cafe. I am Rachel Mays. And I am Jamie Daniel. Woo-hoo. Wow, I almost cut you off there. <laughs> I know, Jamie. You're so excited to be on the Corner Cafe. I am Cafe. so excited. I almost just like it. Rachel Jamie. Uh, yeah, I just went <laughs> straight Jamie, into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely appreciate you, Jamie, and um, your personality. Wow. You're, you're a very big personality on Corner Cafe. Well, thank you, Rachel. You know what? <laughs> uh, absent of you, I would not have this opportunity to do what I'm doing here as far as uh, as an artist and also being on the radio. And uh, you know what? I think I heard this uh, real quickly, Rachel, this... Um, uh, I don't know if it was some sort of quote thing that you should at least like laugh like or smile four times a day, laugh at least one time a day, one day, once a day, really hard, love on somebody every day, and your life could be completely complete. Yeah. Uh, you, you can feel more fulfilled is what I was going to say. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's important to have gratitude. The Bible talks about it gratitude. Is. It is. Um, that is so true. It's important to... Uh, take a moment to smile at somebody when we're at the store i try to remember to do that just in my normal interactions with people in the store and the cashier and all that Mm -hmm. just to um slow down yeah because you you never know what someone's going through right when you you walk into a grocery store or anywhere and then you just, just smile at them without you know smiles can say a million things without words Actual, right. actual verbal words. And and that's important. How do you you respond when somebody smiles at you? Doesn't it make your day? You it, know, it, uh, that's a good it's question. Like because a little I can sunshine. tell you, yeah, it's it's like it makes you feel warm. Right, it you does. Know, it makes you feel warm inside. You'd be like, oh yeah. my gosh, that's really generous. Right. And uh, and then they'll tell me that your fly is down, and I go, oh my bad. <laughs> I said, okay, that wasn't that's good. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one time I was heading into, um, I think it was a Starbucks. I was traveling, uh-huh. and so. I don't know. Okay, so it turns out my fly was down, right? And this guy was smiling. I'm like, okay. And so I went to the Starbucks, but Starbucks was closed. So mm-hmm. I left the Starbucks thinking, well, he, he didn't want to let me know the Starbucks was closed, I guess. And he was smiling at me. But then I realized that my fly was down when I got my car. <laughs> I was like so embarrassed. I'm like, thank God I'm just passing through this town. <laughs> I'll you never know? have to see him again. Exactly. <laughs> but I guess you can't tell a lady if you're a man, like, hey, your fly is down. Right. I mean, a lady can tell a lady that. But Yeah. And, you yeah. Know, and I don't think it has the same effect as a woman that does a man. I could be wrong. You know, listeners, you let me yeah. know. But I think it's, it's a little bit more embarrassing for a man. You, know, you think so? Flight. I think so. I just think it's more embarrassing for you know? a lady, but I don't know. You think so? Yeah. I think it's because it's it's like for a man, it's like that's that's what that zipper is for. You should know that when you're putting on your pants. That's yeah. obvious if you don't, you just button and just keep on going. And I just think it's a little yeah. embarrassing for a man for some reason. I don't know. Well, who knows? Either way, super embarrassing. Well, I don't like it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try not to have that happen. <laughs> I'm a man and I don't like it. <laughs> right. No, but, you know, it's so important to enjoy life. It Slow is. down. It is. Um, laugh. Laugh at least once yeah. a day. How do you get, well, you're funny. Do you just laugh at your jokes, Jamie? He's like, I'm so funny in you know, your car or something. Oh, my gosh, Rachel. That's <laughs> so funny because I was driving here uh, today and I was thinking of something funny and I just started laughing. And I'm thinking when I'm driving in the car and I'm like, I hope no one's looking and looking at my car. Now, I have my windows are tinted but I, you can still see slightly in and I'm thinking I hope no one's looking because I look really <laughs> foolish because I'm, I'm thinking about something about you know a week ago and I can just laugh about it and and but you know those are the little nuggets like you know how squirrels keep the, the like you know nuts for the winter and everything right. of that nature I like to keep those little nuggets for laughter you Aww, know and I, I can love think that. about something yeah. you know and I just start laughing you know yeah. I can think of it in an event somewhere I, I was oh my gosh I'll tell you this thing about Kirk real quickly 
Oh my gosh, this was so funny, and I and I laugh at this still today, where uh, we were supposed to go to an event as a, a radio program, and uh, yeah, as you uh, you guys know, Kirk Samuels is one of our was one of Mad our Mad Men of Masculinity yeah, right Mad now. Mad Men of Masculinity. He was yeah. one of our you know uh, personalities. Anyway, makes a long story short. So Kirk was going to the event, and I kept telling him, I'm not sure if I'm going, you know. And he says, okay. And I, he said, well, and I said, well, and I said, well, I'm going to play a trick on him. I said, well, I'll let you know when I get there. He goes, okay. So he shows up at the event. He's out there in the parking lot. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, he goes, he's big head, as he calls me, big head. And uh, he <laughs> goes, he goes, where are you? And I said, okay. You go, are you Does he do that because you have big hair? I don't know. I think that's why. You know, I think he's. I think he's trying to say that I have a big brain, and that's a compliment. <laughs> I consider yes. myself somewhat smart. <laughs> <laughs> he would obviously he would defer, of course. But anyway, uh, so he's in the parking lot. I'm not there. So I said, okay. He's he's got jokes. So I said, uh, he goes, where are you, big head? I said, bro, I'm right behind you. And he goes. Where and I said not that way because I know he turned. Right I'm, now, mind you, I am not there at all. Right. And I said, I said turn around. So he turns and I know he's turning it, but I can't see him. He said, I don't see you. I said, dude, you you turned the wrong way. And he turns and he goes quiet. It's like, how did you know? Yeah, and, <laughs> and I've got him turning in a parking lot looking for me that I'm not even there. And I just started laughing. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. It looks like he was like you know doing some sort of you know like. He was crazy, uh, uh, turning around in circles, and I'm and I'm on the phone with him. He thinks I'm there, and I'm not. I'm at home. Oh, at that point. how funny! Um, and it's yeah. so funny, so funny. Well, it's Those good to think nuggets. of little, you know. Well, you're you're a jokester, Jamie, and, and little um, I am. pranks and stuff. That I am. Jamie, call, okay, listeners. Jamie called me the other day <laughs> through his. Um, uh, you blocked your number. Well, this this is one that my my personal phone is a is a private number yeah so which, i don't know who's calling number, right we should so, have the number right you know but i don't know who's calling it's just i don't even know why i answered typically yeah, just, i don't answer it says these no calls caller ID. Yeah. actually i thought it was going to be you is why uh-huh. I, I answered <laughs> and jamie uh disguises his voice is like hey is, is rachel there i'm like this is her like who are you basically <laughs> you know and then what you say it was um i said something like hey i've been watching you oh yeah <laughs> and then all of a sudden so I, I just ha- heard i heard click and so, i go and i'm thinking i to go myself, really rachel i'm thinking oh i got some stalker now and knows he knows my, my number, number. <laughs> so i call her back immediately and she's really slow to answer she actually you don't answer i have to text you and i said rachel this is jamie answer the phone i didn't answer no you didn't so i had to text you i said rachel this is jamie answer the phone and then you and she goes yeah i just had some weird guy and i said yeah that was me <laughs> and we just started laughing it was yeah. so funny that was funny mm-hmm. after the moment bef- yeah when i realized i didn't have a stalker right right she did not in the ladies and gentlemen she did not have a stalker it was not a stalker yeah it was, not, it was Someone crazy, but not a stalker. <laughs> exactly, my <laughs> co-host. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have a good show. We're going to yes. be talking with Brandon Watson. He hasn't been on the show for a while, but no, he hasn't. He no. is a kindred spirit for sure. He Loves is. coffee, so you know he's oh, always yeah. welcome on the corner Gosh, cafe. He's awesome. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a break. We'll be back to introduce you to Brandon Watson. Stay tuned. You know, I couldn't have said it better. Tune in to the Corner Cafe Radio, where we share the story and parts of an artist with Music Parade. Hey, hey, and welcome back to Corner Cafe. Woohoo, and there's Jamie Daniel. Hey. Woohoo. There's me. And I love our white shot. Isn't that fun? It is fun. That I mean, is fun. You look at that view. You can mostly see my hand. I but wish I could face that way. That's all you need to see of me anyway. You're much prettier than <laughs> yeah, I am. Jamie, somewhere over there. There's my we hand. We need to somehow, I don't know how we could fix that to, to see you, Jamie. I honestly don't. Yeah, you know don't. what? They need to see you more anyway. You look <laughs> okay. like, I told you earlier that you look like a cupcake. Oh, yeah. Jamie likes my pink. Uh, my pink. I love <laughs> pink. Absolutely love pink. You do. You look great. Well, you thank do. you, you Jamie. Um, but we have one of our buddies. We have yes, Brandon Watson joining us today. He is our featured artist. Hey, hey, hey Brandon. Brandon. 
What's going on, hey. everybody? <laughs> Long time no hear. It seems like we haven't inv- interviewed you forever, bro. How you doing, man? I, it's, been, it's been a long time. And I've had a lot of changes in my life. Yes, you have. Yes, marriage yes. should be one exciting change. Ma- marriage being yeah. one of them. Yeah. Congratulations, bro. Woohoo. Thanks, thanks, H- how thanks. is it being a newlywed? Uh, phenomenal. I, I say awesome. it every day. I'm like, I never want to be single again. Wow. <laughs> I just, Aww. I love married life. It's a beautiful blessing. And um, we're coming up on a year th- 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 in January. Congratulations. So wow, that's really awesome. Excited. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going and, uh, to uh, celebrate that year? We are thinking we might want to go out to, uh, like, Napa Valley. like a Ooh, Really? Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, you know, just off the grid. That is so pl- and, That is so uh, funny that you said yeah. that, Branson, because my fiancé and I were just talking about a, um, a uh, honeymoon spot, and we mentioned Napa Valley. That's perfect. That is so funny that he would say that. I say, get out of here. So funny. Someone's been listening to my phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations to you, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. But not, but not so much more me. You, but you're married. That is awesome, bro. The, one of the things I was going to ask you, Brandon, is I, I think from now on, well, actually, this is more of a statement. I think now we get to interview your wife because now we get all the all the right information. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so she'll tell the truth. A podcaster, <laughs> so she she would love to be interviewed at some point. Oh, see, she's she, a professional. That, that's her wheelhouse. She's yeah. a professional. Yeah, does he, does so she's snore? in entertainment too. Then mm-hmm. tell us about her podcast. What does she talk about? Yeah, so she um, her podcast is called the the K Watch Podcast, um, and so she really is in the lane of interviewing um, Christian influencers, Christian women that are entrepreneurs in, in ministry, that are creatives, um, moms that are entrepreneurs, um, or if they're, you know, at stay-at-home moms that own their own businesses that are Christian influencers. Um, so they, they, she has a podcast geared towards um, interviewing those. Wow, wow, yeah, we'll definitely have to um, have yeah, her on the Corner Cafe oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. And Brandon, um, with your new music, we're going to feature coming up here one of your new songs, but mm-hmm. what has been going on? You're you're definitely exploding with all this new material, it seems, and just kind of uh, doing your thing. And how has your yeah. music changed, if you will, or grown? Yeah, I feel like and that's a great way of putting it. I feel like it's grown because I, I've grown, you mm-hmm. know, I feel like a lot of my earlier stuff was me trying to figure out who I was and who I was as an artist. Um, And I couldn't really find the lane, you know. And Mm -hmm. it was kind of that journey of me and God and figuring that out. Um, And COVID was a giant reset, you know, for everybody, for everything. Right. Mm -hmm. So this this song came out of that that time of just highs and lows, uh, personal struggles that I went through. Um, but the song was geared towards mental health awareness mm-hmm. um, and people that struggle and have tra- challenges um, with mental health. And and so, you know, a lot of us that went through COVID, you know, I, I think we had a, a, a hard way of articulating our thoughts. And mm-hmm. we, didn't, we didn't really know how to express what we were feeling, but we just knew things were amplified. Right. Yeah. And um, this song was birthed in, in that moment, you know, mm. and, and I was just able to talk through um, some of my personal struggles with vocal health issues that I went through. Um, and of course the pandemic and everything just shutting down dates of traveling, just canceled, right. you know, the whole year that was cancel year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so that, yeah. that really was birthed out of that. Um, that time and I actually sat and, and waited to release that song um, until you know this past couple of weeks ago so I've been waiting since the pandemic to release moment um, because I wanted to put a visual shorts film um, cinematic storytelling to the actual single right wow okay That's so impressive. that is great and we, we're doing video now with the Corner Cafe I'd love to get my hands on that that video, if you could send that to us so that the video um, watchers can mm-hmm. see that, Brandon, yep. and of course our radio listeners will, will hear it. So let's listen to a moment right now, or, or view it actually, as well. Here it is. When my confidence is buried, you see through the dirt. 
It's a miracle you want me Even at my worst Your patience is amazing In ways I don't deserve Yeah, you never stop embracing When I can't find my way Like a star burning bright in the night sky To this moment Not letting go of a second You settle all my fears You promise to stay right here Every time that I shatter You show me that I matter You're holding on to me Yeah, you hold on to me You show me that you love me More ways than one There's not a thing more freeing To hear you say was moment on corner cafe and we have brandon watson joining <laughs> us on video and on the phone wow brandon he's been a busy man you he are has. busy and that was amazing <laughs> thank you thank you and you know it's it's one of those songs that um it's it's, it's a song for now you know it's a, mm-hmm. it's a song that um it's, it's more than a catchy vibe and um i think a lot of my earlier stuff everyone knew me as fun loving you know musical we can vibe to it you can dance to it you know and, and this one has that element to it but it, it definitely has um a story and it has you know a voice that uh, it's articulating things that we we all go through and things that we all are thinking you know and um talking about moments that is a highlight reel of our life um you know, so I, I really, really enjoyed writing the song and uh, releasing it. Yes. Awesome. You know, I love um, your shirt. It says, love can disagree. I love yes. that because oftentimes... <laughs> Red letter apparel. Oh. Shout out to the Nashville. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's your apparel yeah. right there. No, this one's not me. Oh. Um, this is actual company that um, they they support me. They sent me nice. some, some clothing. Okay. And this was their line. Um, and what is it called again? Disagree. Yeah. Red letter apparel. Red, Red letter, letter apparel. apparel. I love okay, that. Gotcha. Love can disagree because oftentimes in our society, yeah. um, it seems as if people think, well, if you don't agree with me, you don't love me. That's true. So do you That's get true. people exactly. uh, talking about your shirt when you when you wear it at a coffee shop or on a radio all, show? All the time. <laughs> what are some the of the time. conversations you have? Um, and you know, it's one of those things that it sparks. You know, it, it, it sparks great conversation because you know, in the Christian fellowship, the Christian, um, I don't want to say religion because it's like, it's, it's about relationship. With right. Jesus, yeah. Right. Um, we know that for God so loved the world, he gave his only son mm-hmm. that who should ever believe in him will not perish to have, you know, everlasting life. So everything we know about Jesus, Jesus is love. Mm-hmm. Who he is, he's love. And so when I wear this shirt, I love being able to talk about, love can disagree 
even though I may not agree with your choices or your lifestyle and or whatever that may look like, I can still love you and not agree with your choices. Yeah. Right. The same thing with Jesus. It's the same right. thing with God. You know, we're all born into sin nature. We we have grace and mercy through Jesus dying on the cross. Mm-hmm. However, he doesn't agree with our sin, but he right. still loves us. He right. still loves us enough to die on the cross for our sin, mm-hmm. right? To to be forgiven, and it's the same thing of you know when I wear the shirt, it's a constant reminder that I can love people, even though I don't agree with everything. I can love you through it. Amen. Amen. Wow, that's awesome. I, I love, love that. I love that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I was going to try to going off off base here a little bit. Now you. We mentioned earlier you recently got married, and I think you also you you moved as well. You uh, but the, how long has that how long has that been now that you've moved, Brandon? So coming up on a year as well. Yeah, yeah. I, See, I a lot actually, of big changes in a year. Yeah, <laughs> this is a crazy story. So me and my wife have known each other for a little over three years now. Been married coming up on a year. So I proposed to her last October. And we're actually coming up on a year of oh, wow. me proposing to her. And so we got engaged. We planned to relocate. I accepted a worship pastor job out in Pensacola, Florida. So we planned a wedding in 90 days, moved in 90 days, relocated, and started a uh, new job at a church. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Tons of life changes. Well, at least you guys know you're good as a couple with all that, right? Because, I mean, that's a lot oh, to throw oh, yeah. at a couple here you go. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you know. statistically, they say the three most stressful things that you can do mm. um, are those things that you right. just mentioned. Getting married, moving, yep. and right. finding another job. And then the additional part of that would add a baby on that. Yeah. And you've done three right. of those in within, wow, that's that's impressive. Exactly. Only only by God. I yeah. don't recommend it for people, okay? If, if you don't <laughs> choose to do that. Right allow God to, you know, make the choice for you and just obey that. Right. <laughs> right. Well, it, it also helps. exactly what we did. Well, it also helps to have a wife that is, you know, that is willing and, and it's like supportive of uh, doing those three things all at one time as well. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's awesome. 100%. So how's, uh, how's life in your new state, if you will? What's your favorite thing about where you're living? So uh, my favorite thing it's actually the room that I'm in right now. It's my, my home studio. It's our, our office that we, we work out of. Um, and funny story is I've actually wrote 40 songs in two months. Wow. Oh, wow. In this room. Wow. Wow. And, um, 40. You know, we're just 40 songs. 40 songs. Four wow. zero. 40 wow. songs, yeah. That's a in lot. two months. Two months, um, wow. Wow. So, so of course, the next couple couple years here is going to be pretty lit with new music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah. Um, and and so I want to, you know, definitely say, you know, being at home, being married now, um, it's probably my most favorite thing um, in my new state. But I've I've never lived by water. You know, I've been a born and raised in South Texas in San Antonio, um, and I haven't been by the ocean until so I'm super enjoying being by water and going out by the beach and just hanging out by the water and drinking coffee and you know yeah. doing, doing the fun stuff <laughs> yeah i i would love to live by the water i've always been in colorado so yeah that's a dream to live near a beach and then have your yeah. coffee too so we know you're a, yeah. a coffee connoisseur um what's mm-hmm. a favorite coffee shop that you've discovered in your new town yeah, there's this place called um, Fosco's Coffee, and they have a hundred thousand dollar espresso machine that they make mm, espresso wow. in, and it's phenomenal. So if you're in the Pensacola area, Fosco's is the place to go. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we should get a sponsorship from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we're ever yeah, in. Right. Uh, you're, you're part of town there, Brandon. What we're doing, we're going to do this new thing called um, At mm-hmm. the Cafe. We're actually going to be in a coffee shop. We'd love to interview you at that coffee shop. So, hey, Absolutely. Lord willing. Down. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Um, so, Brandon, let's take a listen to your second song, which is Just Want to Be With You. Um, thoughts on the song before we listen? Yeah, so this is a, a song, actually, that came in during COVID as well. Um, and it's literally just about the, the relentless love of Jesus. 
you know, I, it's talking about um, where would I be, you know, without the love of God? Where would I be? You know, I just want to be with him. Um, and, it, and it's talking about you're not giving up on me. Um, and, and it's just one of those constant reminders that he loves us no matter what we go through and no matter what we, we do to ourselves sometimes. Right. He's always right there. Amen. Wow. Amen. Well, here it is by Brandon Watson. I just want to be with you. 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 I think I've got it figured out. But these walls keep closing your voice in this pain that I'm going through it pulls me close to you Was just want to be with you by Brandon Watson on Corner Cafe. Love it, Brandon. Thank so you. these forty songs. How many albums are you going to try to uh, make with the forty <laughs> songs that you just wrote? We'll see. You know, I I also recorded um, 
an acoustic worship album nice. that is just been sitting and um, I'm waiting to release that. See, I, just I, I'm feeling like it's going to be the right time, and you know, it'll be a special project um, because that's you know part of who I am as well is just grabbing an acoustic guitar and worshiping God. And um, you know, I decided to record that actually in this room at the beginning of the year. And um, I've just been sitting on that, just waiting for the right time. Wow. that's You know what, Brandon? That is so crazy because you're talking about 40 songs, 4-0, not 4, but 4-0 in two months. That's, uh, if you start to break that down, that's 20 songs a month, almost a song a day. And yep. so you were really, you know... It, that's not just you sitting down and says, you know, I'm going to write about the ocean. I'm going to write about the leaves. You've got to be able to hear the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to be able to get all that different sounds and different flows of music all in one yeah. setting within a two month span for 40 songs. Yeah. 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 And, and it definitely was that season. You know, I, I actually struggled. This is just a little uh, transparent moment. <laughs> um, going back, you know, several years ago, a lot of my music was always collaborating with, um, you know, producers and, and artists and, and, yeah. and really just kind of sitting down in the room and talking about what I wanted to write, what mm -hmm. I wanted the song to be about. Um, and I always really struggled with writing a song from start to finish. And the moment when I identified that my identity was found in God, yeah. as a worshiper, as a musician, and as a songwriter, it literally was unlocking the writing side of me that I, I knew that was always there, but I, I never knew what the block was. Mm -hmm. um, and when I finally was just like, hey, God, I want to tell my story. I want to tell my testimony. I want to talk about what I'm going through. And I don't care what the judgment I'm going to receive from either the yeah. church right. or outside of the church. This is what I feel like people need to hear from me yeah. in this season. And when I just started talking through my stories of what I've gone through, mm -hmm. they started turning into songs. Yeah. And that's literally how I was able to write that much music in that short of time. And it was just one of those things that the Holy Spirit was just like, create with me. Hmm. And here you go. Yeah. Yeah, because you had to really mm -hmm. dig within yourself right. and come out with a lot. I mean, so I, I'm assuming... Uh, I can't imagine it. It couldn't have been, Brandon, that that was a very emotional right. two months period where you oh, laughed yeah. and you laughed at times, you cried at times, and then you just sat and mm -hmm. just pondered yeah. a lot about all the emotional yeah. stuff that you had gone through, right? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, I, I'm grateful because it was in the season um, when I wasn't in my single season anymore. You yeah. know, I was grateful to, to have my wife. Um, around and the covering of my wife and the, and the covenant of our mm -hmm. marriage because there was moments where, you know, I was talking through my childhood and things that um, I went through growing up as a pastor's kid mm -hmm. and things that I went through as an adult, you know, our right. transitions leading up into leading, um, leaving my hometown that I grew up in. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so there was a lot of challenges, a lot of uh, in different seasons of my life that fast forwarding into this year when mm -hmm. I sat down and wrote the music, um, it's all of those moments. And so it's so fitting when I decided to release Moment because it was literally talking about the last 31 years of my life all in one song. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, perfect timing, right? The Lord knew that um, you would have the fellowship of your wife in this moment and yep. be able to have yep. your um, studio where you could feel like you could kind of yep. hide away yep. in your studio and do all that. And one thing that I really hear with this whole testimony of finally um, kind of that release, if you will, is that you surrendered. You, you, mm -hmm. um, and that's a good place for all of us and yeah. the Lord. And, and sometimes we Rachel. think, oh, I surrendered everything. Mm -hmm. But then we go through like yeah. layers of surrender, yeah. you know, through life. Yeah. It, would you describe it like that? Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's kind of one of those things where not knowing, you know, it, it's a form of pride, you know, because right. insecurity mm -hmm. is a form of pride. Right. And, um, you know, those are those things where you really have to ask God, search my heart, know me, I surrender, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. not just me as an artist or, you know, me trying to be something, 
but I just surrendered myself as Brandon to you mm. and, and use me how you've called me to be. I mean, you've called me to be a psalmist. You've called me to be a worshiper. Mm-hmm. You've called me to be a songwriter. And I allow you to use me in those ways. Mm, that's now. beautiful. And, yeah. and it's literally the, that form of just humbling yourself and surrendering. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, my question for you, Brandon, that goes because now, now that you've added the addition of marriage, and the uh, and it's such a beautiful thing that God has put together, and is how He brings two people together. Do you find that your your spouse now uh, it's easy for her to adjust to your schedule, uh, or is there conflict with schedules, or how do you guys make that portion of the work? Because work is uh, marriage is work, mm-hmm. and work is work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how do you guys uh, you know because once again just moving could it be a, yeah. is, is a is a dubious task so how do you juggle everything um in the ministry that you have and then the ministry of loving your wife see that's two different ministries how do you juggle all of that I, the best thing and the best form of advice we got was if it cares to them mm-hmm. it cares to me yeah mm. and vice versa if it care if i care about it mm-hmm. then she cares about it and so um we had tremendous um amazing premarital counseling um i was on staff at my church in san antonio and uh my lead pastor actually did premarital counseling with us and married us um and we we really got down to those questions you know because she she is an entrepreneur she works from from home and Mm -hmm. she has you know two businesses podcaster and, you know, I have a business, I'm an artist, I'm a worship guy, I, I'm at a local church, you know. And so we, we really, before getting into marriage, um, we, we laid all our cards out. And it was, you know, we looked at each other and said, listen, we want each other to win. We're on, on the same team. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and whatever it's going to take, we got to support each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. And as long as God is in the center and he's the foundation, everything else will fall into place. Mm-hmm. It's on us to hear from him. Once we hear from him, obey the word for over our life. And every right. season, it's going to be a different, a different word, right. you know, from God. And, and the reason why we even relocated was because we heard from God to start fresh as a married couple. And it was the best, most beautiful uh, decision we could have made. Um, because business wise and music wise, you know, all this has come out of this year in the first year of marriage. Wow, yeah. yeah. And and so, you know, I, I, that's kind of a loaded question, Jamie, because it's just <laughs> like, you know, all of these things in place is, you know, understanding, communication, but above all, being humble mm-hmm. yeah. and obeying what God has said. Mm-hmm. Right. I love yeah. I love that, Brandon, when you say obeying God's word not separately but collectively obeying God's word mm-hmm. that's the most powerful statement that I've heard today obeying yeah. God's word yeah. together that's right. beautiful yeah yeah mm-hmm. and um, just to be equally yoked you guys are equally yoked um, and did we ask yeah. where you guys met you met three you were friends for two years prior to marriage yes. three years total but yes. where'd you guys meet so uh, we met via her podcast Oh, oh how cool. Funny. So she had you on yeah, your, her show. So, so you were stalking this I lady. Did, I, I totally was. <laughs> Jamie. I, I, I slid into her DMs oh. professionally. Professionally, professionally yeah, of course, yeah. 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 And, the Holy Ghost way. You know, <laughs> I would literally just message her, hey, do you ever uh, interview artists? And she responded. She said, you know, actually, I'm about to launch the podcast. I would love to do a consulting call with you to see how our interview would be. Um, <laughs> consulting call so cute. On, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we got on the on the call, and uh, it was supposed to be fifteen minutes ended up being three and a half hours. Oh my wow. god! And we talked every day since then. Yeah. Wow. Oh, now, that's adorable. Now, when you were now when you got on there, were you like looking at her like you know what I'm really interested in her, or was it really strictly you know like professional? You know, with a twist of maybe possibility, or were you, were you going with the possibility I'm getting her? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was kind of a little bit of both. Okay, you know? that's an honest like, answer. Hey, she, she's cute. I could see where this could go. You know, <laughs> her be, being cute was a, an absolute plus. Right. And her being right. a podcaster, I was like, okay, I can get away with 
slipping in the DMs and being professional. About right, it. right. <laughs> <laughs> Good move because it worked out excellently. Yeah. And uh, wow, that's incredible. And we certainly going to have to have to get both you guys and chat yes. with both of you. Oh, uh, we would love it. We Absolutely. Would love it. What's some advice, Brandon, um, with uh, who, listeners who are singer songwriters um, right now or are, are viewing our video? What's um, a couple tips to give them to make it as a worship leader, but also as an independent songwriter? Yeah, you know, I think being a songwriter, especially now, you know, it the game has changed so mm-hmm. much in mm-hmm. the industry. Um, not getting, putting yourself in a box. You know, if you're a writer that you got to do the same thing the same way, then I would say, you know, challenge yourself mm-hmm. to be more inspired. You know, do, do something different. If, if you're one of those guys that's like, Hey, I can only write if I have a candle on my desk and <laughs> right. a journal and it has to be overcast outside <laughs> and that's when I'm inspired. You know, challenge yourself to write a song a day. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's you're at a coffee shop, you're sitting down, get a pen and paper out. And, and I'm a topical writer. I'm a subject writer. So I'm going to think about, you know, headphones or whatever, you know, or this candle that I have right here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to write about a candle and I'm going to bring a whole story around that subject. And that's how I write. And I had to learn that that was my way of writing. Mm-hmm. That was my identity of writing. Right. right. And so, um, the guys that I write with, they're, they're kind of opposite, you know, they're hook guys, you know, they, mm-hmm. they, they'll yeah. hear the subject and then immediately have a hook to go with the song. Uh-huh. Right. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really that, that guy. So if I really encourage co-writing, co-writing yeah. is the mm-hmm. best thing. If you struggle with like finishing an idea out, go and get with the co-writer right. and your first goal is finish a whole song out from yeah. start to finish. Good advice. Yeah, that's great bad. advice. Very good yeah. advice. Even if it's bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and mm-hmm. that's good advice, too. Don't be a perfectionist. Uh, um, right. You know, you got to just put yourself out there yep. and and get a song done, even even if you're like, you know, I'm not really thrilled with this. But then you could revisit the song later, yeah, and it yeah, could be um, super mm-hmm. magical. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Brenda, I guess you would say also, it's, it, you got to leave room for the Holy Spirit to come in and say, okay, um... Uh, you know, because I've written songs, and I know Rachel has written songs, and I'll I'll hear something, and I'll get, you know, I'll get uh, maybe possibly a melody uh, or uh, or some lyrics, and mm-hmm. and then and then I and all of a sudden it just it seems like the well dries up, and then I just say and I yep. say, that to me that's t- the Holy Spirit saying just put it away, push it aside, mm-hmm. and then I can come back to it maybe gosh maybe another month or so, and then everything comes together. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah. I think that's God's way of of just kind of letting us know I want to hear how you hear right. and I want to know right. that you are that you are hearing me would you say that would be a good assessment yeah yeah I mean and everything's seasonal too yeah. you know the timing right. of of certain songs you know it's like sometimes there's a song that it needs to come out yeah. and it needs to be out right now and it'll just come it'll it'll be like a flood right you know and it'll just come out and then there are other seasons where um, it may be more emotional. It may be things that, you know, like moment, came, it, that one didn't come right off the bat. You know, I sat down and had a whole topic around it. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I was really wanting to talk through the mental health awareness and start that conversation. Um, and I knew that that was a weighty subject mm-hmm. that needed to be inspired by the Holy Spirit to really start that conversation. And so it took me three writing sessions to finish that song out yeah. oh, wow. and then once i was done i still waited on it yeah yeah because i wanted to make sure it was the time to release the song right. and so you know i completely agree with you jamie yeah you know it's it's the timing of when the holy spirit is saying okay yeah now it's time to go ahead and let it do what it needs to do yeah because yeah. you, you would probably say it's not god if you're trying to release a christmas song around easter 
<laughs> right. Yeah, you gotta be patient. Yeah, you gotta, Even though you want to, Jamie, you, you gotta, gotta be, be a little patient. patient yeah. Yeah. Right. Does anybody right. have a problem right. with writing a song and then forgetting the melody or forgetting the lyrics if you didn't write them down? I've done that a couple of times. It's like, oh man, I just yeah. totally forgot that song. Lyrics I, I have, <laughs> melodies I have not because I yeah. make sure I put it on a recorder. Yes. And then our phones have recorders on them. Yeah. So I make sure. But lyrics right. I have, I have, I have to really think. I'm like, oh, I knew the lyrics for this. I got to go back and right. really write it down, record it. Yeah. I sometimes yeah. I tell myself I'll never forget this. This is amazing. Right. And then like a month later, I'm like, hmm. I don't know what that was. And all you hear is cricket. It's gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. I, I have you know 50 voice memos on my phone. Yeah. Oh, that's I don't cool. Forget anything. That's cool. Yeah. Well, let's uh, transition just real quick so we don't forget it. Our espresso question, which yeah. is express, express yourself. yourself. And the espresso question is Brandon. Okay, this is a good one. If you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? If you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? What to invest in. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's a twofold. Financially and for people. What to invest in and who to invest in. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, that's a... Man, you came up with that real quick, too. That, that was, was a great one. answer. I think he's been thinking about this for a while. <laughs> yeah, I never, I mean, just right now he learned the question. But. I know, right? Yeah. yeah, we don't, we don't give it, we're not like, you know, some sort of political group, we give you the questions ahead of time. Yeah. We don't do that. What, yeah. you know, right. he asked his future self, what's the espresso question going to be so that I can yeah, have a great yeah, answer. Yeah, there you go, so he had a great answer. <laughs> yeah. I, I sure did. I knew it was coming. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you guys do on your free time? You guys are doing a lot um, as a couple, but what do you guys like to do besides going to the beach of course going to your favorite coffee shop what else do you guys like to yeah. do we are big show people mm -hmm. we love watching series movies um so we just finished a series on netflix called the watcher the watcher i've seen it i haven't I've, seen I've, it i've heard of i've never seen it though. yeah yeah so it's we'll based on it a true story that this house in upper upstate new york um, had this community of people around this, this huge house. And there were seven episodes on Netflix. And um, they just sold this house back in 2019. But they couldn't sell the house because every time someone would purchase this home, they would get anonym anonymous letters hmm. um, about them watching oh, the family. Oh, scary. And it's so weird. And it's a thriller, suspense. So that's and that's a true like story. So wow. It's a true story. That's, and we were that's freaking creepy. out about it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh. So we're big movie people, big show people. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. That's, we're, we're home buddies, you know? <laughs> yeah, nice. I, I kind of am too. I love watching yeah, movies and shows too. and especially, popcorn. Yeah, especially around Christmas. I watch yeah. every Christmas. You know, dude, I am, I am not ashamed to say, Brandon, I will watch, <laughs> I will, uh, what do you, what do they call it? Um, when they uh, 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 I will veg and watch uh, veg out yeah Hallmark Christmases yes. uh, as cheesy oh, as yeah. some of them are I will watch them all I will no joke yeah your fiance I'm Jamie go, man. yeah it is <laughs> when, when Jamie's fiance gets here she'll love that you guys are just she curl will. up on the couch and get some popcorn and she's already told yeah. me she said well I'll be taking a nap and I said well as long as you're close it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what the I'll tell you how it ended <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm going to be taking a nap. I can't watch five hours of movies. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, Brandon, um, let's tell the listeners how they can uh, yes. get a hold of you and your music. Yeah, so um, I'm on social media at I am Brandon Watson, um, or my full website is www.brandonwatsonofficial.com. And then, of course, you can just Google Brandon Watson Music and uh the short film will pop up on vivo and um i'm super easy to get a hold of yep and also awesome, just as awesome. a reminder to the audience um well brandon will also uh be on our uh, web, oh, excuse me i'm trying to say it here website cornercaferadio.com mm -hmm. yes. yeah so if if you miss that guys you can go to our website and find him as one of our guests and yes. um 
Reach out to him, absolutely. Yeah, amazing me. You won't be disappointed, right. sincerely. He's extremely talented, very, very thank gifted, you, you. Mm-hmm. just an amazing heart, amazing person, and gosh, now an amazing husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. So, Brandon, before we leave um, you with this interview, a tip for those who are struggling with um, mental um, health, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. you know, that song you wrote was beautiful. Um what are some tips or some encouraging words, if you will, for our listeners who are struggling with that? Number one, don't be afraid to start the conversation and, and have accountability or someone to talk with. Um, and number two, you know, a scripture says, you know, take every thought captive. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and when you know that it's, it's not a thought from the Lord, you know, take it captive and give it to God. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you know, set the atmosphere of your home, your vehicle, get worship music on, get in the presence of, uh, of God, Amen. and get in your word. You know, the Bible says to renew our mind, yeah. um, and how we do that is reading our word. And all of these are practical steps, you know. And also, don't be scared to, to ask for help, you know, right. whether it's getting a therapist and, uh, you know, and sitting down and, and really just talking through some of those things, ask for help, you know, right. ask yeah. for help. And, 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 and that would be the, the, the practical steps that, you know, are right there. And, and people are, uh, you know, either have suffered from that and, and or know somebody mm-hmm. that is currently going through um, some type of mental health, you know, of, of just lives from the enemy right. and, 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 and things that, um, we just need God to invade our, our thoughts and just mm-hmm. be, be in our mind. Right. Amen. Yeah, and if like and that. if we haven't gone through that, perhaps yeah. we will in the future from some life event mm-hmm. or something too that would that yeah. hit us. And um, it's not to be, it's not a shameful thing to go through these things. You got to reach Absolutely, out. I think yeah. people feel embarrassed, you know, oh, yeah. well, I'm so-and-so, or I'm a worship pastor, or, you know, right. um, I'm a PK kid, or whatever it may be. I shouldn't yeah. have this problem. But no, mm-hmm. everybody in life, we're going to have some challenges, and we need to reach right. out. And that's what the body of Christ is here for. Absolutely. You know? Right. Yeah. And I love what you said, Brandon, because um, I'm paraphrasing now uh, some of your comments. Uh, you can't get to the top of the stairs or the top of the ladder without taking the proper steps mm, first. That's and, great, yeah. And that's mm. what I heard out of that. And that, and Brandon, you're 100% right. Take your time, mm. uh, take the proper steps. And if you can't take that step, find someone that can help you take the first step. Amen. Mm. Reach yeah. out, get yeah, help. Definitely. That's so good. Yeah, Brandon, it's been a pleasure having you back on Corner Absolutely. Cafe. Absolutely. And we'll thank reach you out, for of course. Me. Yeah, thank you. We, yeah. we just we love your music and your heart. And in the new year, we're going to have you and your wife on the show. Yes. So we're looking forward to that. We'll, we'll, lo- we'll love it. We'll love it. All right. Well, we are going to go to a yes, break. We we'll be back, though. And Jamie and I are going to continue our conversation on just uh, enjoying life and yeah. looking for the positive. Absolutely. So stay tuned. Natalie's drink, you get Ernie's, okay? Okay. Natalie's going to get a large black coffee, please. Uh, it looks like uh, Ernie has already just texted me his uh, his drink. He wants a latte, two and a half Splendas, 1% milk, 183 degrees precisely, extra foam, but not a cappuccino, a one pump sugar-free pumpkins, uh, spice syrup, stir one time to the left while the sun is shining, and shake it, not stirred. We'll work on that. Great coffee, but oh, I'd like a little creamer in this, okay? Uh, oh, that's okay. Hold on, Ernie, you know I'm a big fan. Hold on one well, second. Thank you, thank you. It'll be great. Oh, hey, there you go. How about you? Uh, oh, nice oh, oh, yeah, everything looks great. Sure. Everything looks great. You know, just kind of. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. You know what? Um, Oh, everything okay? You got everything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm you know what? Oh, oh, what? I'm coming down with a cold. Oh, cold? Oh, oh a... I got something for that. Hold on. I've right. got something okay. for that. There you go. Oh, that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling a little chill. Chill? Oh, I got you, buddy. Okay. Oh, you. thanks, man. 
And have, you know, the germs come on this desk. Oh, here. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Your phone, give me everything there. Jamie, I used to floor direct. Do you want to give floor directing a shot? Ooh, yes. Okay. I can do that. All right. Great. I'll be right back. All right. See ya. And, uh, dude, what's good? Is that a connect with What? What? This camera? Hey. I have no idea what he wants this video. Where's Rachel when you need her? I don't. Go. And welcome back to the Corner Cafe. Hey, hey, Jamie. Hey, there I am. There you are. And um, you can see that, you know, the night is coming because uh, we have our backdrop here. Yes, we it, do. For the radio listeners, we do do video. CornerCafeRadio.com. Hey, mm -hmm. radio listeners, if you've never checked out our videos, encourage you to. We have yes. um, a great view um, of the city of Denver. It's yeah, beautiful here. The, so the check out those floor. videos. I'm not going to tell floor. you what floor you want, might come looking for us, but we're on the top floor. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> I'll just in say Denver. That. <laughs> Somewhere in Denver. <laughs> and it's yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And talking mm -hmm. about being grateful and thankful, we're in the yeah. season of, you know, Thanksgiving time and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And Christmas time, really, mm -hmm. um, is the time to sit with your loved ones and be thankful for them and have yes. this atmosphere which is why i think jamie you like christmas so much it has this atmosphere of thanksgiving yeah and i mean family it, it, you're right you're so right rachel it encompasses everything beautiful about god yeah and oh, that's i beautiful. think that's the reason what what i gravitate toward it so much because right. uh my childhood was so amazing for christmas i loved christmas and my mom was a single mom so she didn't have yeah. a lot of money but she made an effort and what mind you it wasn't just about the gifts it was about that it was about extending herself just right. like god has extended himself right. through his son uh to bless us to love us and get us things that we wanted and uh mostly what we needed mm -hmm. but did get us some things that we wanted to and right. that's and, and that all just all of that and there's so much more of course but that's one of the things that reminds me of how beautiful our father is of uh, being grateful and thankful for him every day and you know the bible talks about being thankful every day having a new song upon your lips uh, as the psalms of david talks about and, and you think about it when we, we were talking to, uh, to brandon earlier brandon watson uh you know, he had a song on his lips for two months. Yeah, uh, literally, it's and amazing. He's writing 40, forty songs. songs. That's like impressive. You know, that's, that's very a blessing. Impressive. Yeah. And so, so basically, what how I see that is that he was honoring God with his lips, honoring God with his worship mm -hmm. daily because right. he was wor he was working uh, that that music and working on those lyrics and songs and that artistry mm -hmm. every day for two months and. Yeah. Uh, and that's a beautiful habit to have because we should be grateful yeah. about everything. You know, yeah. uh, I didn't get that raise. Doesn't matter. I'm grateful. Right. I didn't get that car. Doesn't matter. I'm grateful. Right. I didn't get the house that I wanted. Doesn't matter. I'm grateful. Yeah. De I mean, you know, I'm I'm not in the relationship I feel like I should be. Doesn't matter. I'm grateful. Right. You know, and that's what great uh, gratitude is. Whether you get it or not, still be grateful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what's beautiful about well, while you were talking, I was thinking of this. Um, mm -hmm. I can see the little hamster running on. Yeah, I, I was thinking. I, I had a see. thought. I had a thought. Um, <laughs> with the holidays. Yeah. Uh, we should be even grateful living in the United States, of course, but then yes. the United States and every country does this, set us, sets aside holidays yeah. mm -hmm. for us to practice yeah. gratefulness. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, you know, mm -hmm. um, no holidays for us. I'm certain most everybody mm -hmm. loves a holiday. Right. You know, right. until, but holidays do have a mixed emotions of losing family members yes. and wishing they were here and yes. stuff, but it, it allows us a moment to stop. Yeah and enjoy mm -hmm. and be grateful it's kind grateful. of like a forced a force if you will yeah time like nope you gotta take a chill you need to relax you need yes. to enjoy your family you need yes. to um think about these things of yeah. being gr grateful and giving gifts to people on christmas Absolutely. you know so Rich, it's, it's and beautiful I, and i think you're 100 percent right there because i think and now correct me if i'm wrong we can look that up somebody else can correct me but i think america is the only country that celebrates thanksgiving anyway mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, you know because it comes um, from our tradition mm -hmm. of of just of america being grateful for everything that we have you know being a grateful nation and you know everything shuts down and I love that I don't like anything being open 
on you know on Christmas or Thanksgiving uh, because these are times that we should be um, gathered around family being thankful for each other and then above all being thankful to God mm-hmm. for having us together right. and uh, and like you said Rachel then um, you know because I've lost uh, loved ones you know I've lost a brother you've lost a brother mm-hmm. uh, and a mom and, and we both lost, and our we moms. lost our moms yeah and you know but we're grateful yeah. You know, mm-hmm. we, and and this is might sound crazy to some people, but we're grateful because they're they are in a better place. Yeah. You know, and, and we're, we're grateful that we had somebody like them in our lives. Absolutely. Because absolutely. We're all going to lose somebody. Yeah. And if we don't, that means we were, were we went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you if, know? You, if you're not missing somebody, you're already where you need to be. <laughs> exactly. And it's probably not on this earth. <laughs> right. So um, yeah. to have that perspective is a mental yeah. shift of, you know, death is terrible even jesus cried and he's Mm -hmm. god you know just the effects of death is on this earth is horrendous someday that's going to be changed yes and we'll have our new bodies in christ and death will be eradicated but even in this reality of death still even so to remind ourselves that every day is a gift Mm -hmm. everybody around us is a gift they're not going to be here forever amen and we are not going to be here forever right so take every moment every day Mm -hmm. to be thankful thankful for the people around you thankful for your life thankful for the sun yeah thankful for whatever whatever it may be the 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 tiny things and um oftentimes the most smallest things well quote unquote smallest things are the most beautiful things absolutely and you know what rachel you you hit uh you hit something on uh the hammer on the nail with that one when you said find something to be grateful about because there there's too many things to be grateful about that you don't have you could you that you should have a praise upon your lips mm-hmm. because there's just so much right getting up in the morning you know right. uh, uh you know having teeth to brush <laughs> you know <laughs> exactly because <laughs> some people don't have that many teeth it's <laughs> a good point jamie <laughs> or hair i mean if you don't yeah. Yeah, you you thank you god if you have a comb because people right. don't have hair right. you know there's always i know <laughs> rachel and i this sounds really facetious and it's somewhat it is but we're realistically it is honor god in everything that we do right you know mm-hmm. um i mean i mean i can think of a million things right now and of course we don't have the time on radio to do this but there is a million things i can think of right now to be grateful and thankful to god for and i am and i let god know i am grateful i am thankful right. for you allowing me to breathe or allowing right. me to you know this cup of coffee wow i'm grateful for it thank you yeah you know uh i'm this bagel i'm grateful for it yeah. you know and it, we may this may sound like like far-fetched or whatever but it's actually as i'm getting excited and knocking over the furniture uh i just baptized this 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 uh this uh, uh it's not a phone but it's actually yeah. this, uh and we can't here. see it in the wide shot good, radio good. listeners see, once this again this is why video this is why is rachel doesn't have me completely on the, have me completely <laughs> on the wide shot because i'm knocking stuff over but anyway so there is so much to be grateful and thankful to right. god for and i get excited about that because it is truly you know, when we just think about our loved ones, Rachel, you hit that one. You said, you know, loved ones and family and friends and just, wow, the ones we have and the ones we've lost. I'm just grateful. I mean, this is a different kind of direction we went into uh, t- today, but um, it's it's needed. It's mm-hmm. needed to be said. It's needed right, especially to be going expressed. into the holiday season. Oh, because, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. Holidays are beautiful, but yeah. oftentimes people have so many mixed emotions regarding yeah. it. And yeah. I think that um, we can dwell on what we don't have yeah. or dwell on who we lost mm-hmm. and not appreciate the people that are right in front of us. Absolutely. And it's it's a, a good reminder for both of us um, and to take a step back into uh, for those simple things on the yeah. holidays, even well, thank you that yeah. you know, Uncle Uncle So and So is here, you know, or our grandpa's here, or yeah. and people we can yeah. get so distracted with. Well, you know that turkey didn't turn out the way I wanted to turn right. out, and then we miss out on well, hey, what about the uh, the stuffing? Wasn't that amazing? Right, <laughs> you know, <right>. so it's <laughs> just as humans in our <laughs> simple nature, we we really can dwell on the the bad things yeah like who made this crunchy tape potato salad <laughs> right. that's not that's not good just right. be grateful <laughs> just be grateful Gra- yeah just make it simple be grateful and stop to yeah. smell the roses so we had a great conversation oh, yeah. jamie yeah and beautiful. uh hey we're gonna be back on the yes, corner cafe are. next saturday so see you at the cafe next, next week, week.